Um, does anybody know what today happens to be? So today is uh, Tesla's uh, 160th birthday, uh, June 10th, July 10th. Uh, Ju July 10th. Um, and so, yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> Um, so to celebrate that, there is a uh, new documentary called uh, Tesla Fi Me, which is uh, going to be released uh, in the near future. And what we're going to do is uh, play a uh, trailer from that. Um, it is uh, one of the original trailers. Um, since that time, uh, Eric Dollard and some others have been interviewed, so that's not going to be part of it, but it will. And so right after this, you're going to be able to hear directly from the uh, director of this documentary and one of her partners who's a uh, mover and shaker uh, over on the other side of the world who's uh, doing a lot of good work to bring these kind of things together. So can somebody turn off all the lights up here and we'll go ahead and play this. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. But Tesla is not dead. Tesla is not really dead, only his poor, wasted body has been still. The real, the important part of Tesla lives in his achievement, which is great. This man was an amazing humanitarian, an altruist. Tesla was on the cover of Time magazine. He was one of the most famous people in the entire world. He was here in New York, socially very well known. He was the ultimate gentleman in black tie, uh, white uh, tails. With his charm, with his elegance, with his majesty, and at the same time, a great teacher. And he understood in me that I represented him as a younger person. Who was this man who cared more for humanity than for his own existence? His fame for electricity overshadowed Thomas Edison's fame, I'm sure. Thomas Edison was still relying on coal. Tesla was interested in the bigger picture. He began to build his Wardenclyffe Tower as a magnifier transmitter that would increase the natural frequency vibration of the Earth. Tesla is talking about slaying energy on the opposite side of the Earth, or on any side of the Earth, without any slaying. Between 100 kilohertz and 150 kilohertz, there may be a frequency where you can transmit without losses of electromagnetic power. Tesla jasno i nedvosmisleno kaže ja ne radim sa takvom vrstom talasa nego sa nekom drugom vrstom i preporučujem za upotrebu talase čija je frekvencija od 6 Hz do 20.000 Hz. But this is was not found. In the year 1900 he forecast that you and I would have a cell phone. He was able to access source energy and take that and make it physical. And he knew that at some point, not only would you wirelessly be able to communicate voice, but you'd wirelessly be able to communicate pictures. Uh, he saw all of that. Who was this man who could decode the frequencies of the universe? We would love to find the answer to that mystery, and that is one of the things that we plan to do in the future. The present is theirs. The future for which I have really worked is mine. This and more about the work and life of Nikola Tesla is what Teslafy will bring to our minds. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here today on Tesla's birthday and to celebrate it with you. And I'm very thankful to invited us and uh, to make uh, such a great interviews here with uh, very inspiring and very beautiful people who are working and uh, exploring what Tesla left behind. Thank you so much. Yes, it's uh, quite special to be here on uh, the birthday of this big man. A um, couple of questions. How long have you been working on this film? 
Actually, exploring, I mean, uh, researching what Tesla was doing and where he was living, it was for eight years. But uh, shooting documentary, it's now for two years. And when do you expect to release it? This year. When? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a true independent film, so we are still working also on a lot of funding to finish it, to do the post-editing and everything. Um, very grateful that we could interview here uh, the brightest minds actually working in the same field. Uh, they will be included in the film, so thank you for that and thank you for this big opportunity. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.